guys, it's Dr. Caffrey with Arch Review, and today we're going to talk about how you use an otoscope. Before we actually stick the otoscope in the ear, I think it's important you know a couple parts. There's the light on the otoscope, which twists to turn on, and then there's the manual focus. This right here is going to be how you make sure that the picture you're seeing of the ear is clear. So line up those green lines. This on the back is where you look through, and then this here is where you're going to attach your disposable ear tip. Once you have that attached and you have the light turned on, you're ready to go ahead and look in your client's ear. When you look in the client's ear, a couple things to discuss here are the direction you pull the ear in order to straighten the ear canal. In clients over the age of three, we pull the pinna or the top of the ear up and back. And in clients younger than three, we pull down and back because of the way their ear canals are shaped when they're younger. You're also going to want to make sure you hold the otoscope correctly, which means you're going to hold it with the handle facing up. The importance of this, even if it feels a little bit not intuitive, is that as I look in her ear, I'm bracing her, my hand against her head. This means if my client moves or is uncomfortable as I'm looking, it's going to stabilize it so that the tip does not go in any further in the ear than I want it to, and that's going to protect my client's tympanic membrane. After I've explained what I'm doing, I'm just going to go ahead, pull that pinna up and back, and take a peek in that ear. What you're looking for here is a tympanic membrane that's pearly gray with ossicle bones possibly present and no signs of erythema. And that is how you use an otoscope.